It's a warm day today. We've got the sunroom open. So we're gonna rip this off and try and turn this stove into a cooktop stove. The rocket mass heaters in our house are, are kind of hybrids of rocket stoves and, and other mass heaters or masonry heaters that you've seen out there. A lot of them are in other countries. But we kind of just created things that fit our, our space, first of all, and our need for, uh, for heat and efficiency versus how often do we want to, to put wood in and how, how big of a piece do we want to use. So, so all these factors come into play, and um, so we've come up with these, you know, designs that we have, and you, you've seen them many times if you watch our channel regularly. Uh, one thing that we want our masonry heaters to do, though, that they don't do currently, or they don't allow us to do, is to cook on them. Oh. <laughs> Did you catch what I was saying? Of course, we can put a pot on top of the barrel, as you see there, we can put a pot up there, and it will it will boil, but it's not very not very convenient Oops. to reach up to you know a, a almost six foot height to boil a pot of water. And that baby clothes. Okay. Baby clothes. No. Baby. <laughs> it takes quite a long time for the water to boil up there. So we get a, a very slow rolling boil, but it does take probably half an hour to get a gallon of water boiling. That's way too long. And we know that we can concentrate the heat a lot better. So what we did is we, we researched, we've done a lot of research, we've looked, looked in a lot of places, and we stumbled upon this amazing site and um, YouTube video um, introducing the Walker wood stoves. We'll put the link down below. So, whereas a rocket, a typical rocket mass heater um, has an insulated riser that allows the smoke to, to burn up, this one is just the same idea but sideways. So this goes around like a C, it goes in and to the left and then to the left again, then it rises up here and then makes another C shape as it goes around. Now, one of the cool things about this, and this is why we were interested at first, is you can take a glass cooktop. We bought a, a, a used glass range for about $30 and very carefully removed the, the ceramic glass cooktop. It's the same kind of glass that you'd find in a, in a typical fireplace uh, window. So it's, it's not going to break um, when That's it gets so hot. Cool. Yeah, very cool. So, so this kind of lines up. So you'll have where it, where that heat comes up right here. That's gonna be the hottest spot. And it'll go around and become progressively less <laughs> hot. <laughs> so we're going to, again, make a hybrid. We're gonna fit it in our space using those principles and hopefully we'll finish it today because today is warm, but who knows what tomorrow's gonna to bring. <laughs> it's a little bit scary doing this in the middle of winter where we actually need this heat to survive. <laughs> but luckily we do have another rocket mass heater in the back in case this doesn't work. So let's get to work taking this apart first. Okay, might as well put this outside because the goal is to not have to use it. But let's inspect this first. Let's see what happened over the course of one and a half winters. There was not much buildup, and what buildup there was is super light and fluffy. It's not um, not like a creosote buildup of any kind. It's not hard, it's not flaky. Are you making dust? Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Chim chimmery. Just don't clap your hands, okay? <laughs> okay, let's bring this outside, buddy. Oh, you're gonna get hey, all Alex, the clothes, uh, actually, I'm the only one with clean hands. I will open the door. Ready? Go. Okay, don't reach in anymore. 
The door won't open further than that. I don't know why. She's in the way. Hmm. Oh, it's cold. It's actually warm. It's cold compared to how warm it is in the house, but it's yeah. really warm day. <laughs> on Come sunny on, days, we never have to worry about the warmth of the house because the sunroom does all the work that the that the fireplaces usually do. Actually, more. It, yeah, it's it heats more efficient. It ten times better, I'd or, say. Yeah, not only more efficient because it's free, but yeah, it does do a better job than the. It's like Jello. It's weird, isn't it? This is the lightest stuff. It's very fascinating. Now this is just a uh, insulated pipe triple wall, right? Yeah, it's triple wall, um, stainless steel. Yeah. Looks The outside looks okay. Yeah. Looks copper colored. It's definitely discolored from the heat. Beautiful color, actually. If we were to get a, a stainless steel barrel instead of the regular steel one like we had, it, it would, would turn copper? eventually turn copper color. Ooh, well that's something to consider. I know. So I used the stainless steel sheet to protect the insulative, insulated fire bricks, which are very soft and also kind of expensive, so I didn't want to damage those. But it got so soft that its own weight collapsed it. Collapsed it. You can see this. It's quite hefty metal, but it's burned through there and on the wow. back. And this has only been one and a half seasons. So you can see that even stainless steel oxidizes and you know doesn't last forever. But I'm glad to know that that protected our expensive bricks. Are we going to take the whole thing? Yeah, yep. sure. Oh wow, without the barrel we can see into the kitchen from here. I'm excited. We'll be able to just put a pot and cook. This is going to be amazing. This is about the right height too, isn't it? Alright, we're going to take this outside and dump it and we'll come right back. Good job, Banjo. You're a good helper. What? What the heck? Where'd you find that? Thanks, Everett. You're a good worker. So this is a hybrid because we can fit much bigger logs in here. Your typical um, mass heater, rocket mass heater, only fits like sticks and stuff as you're burning. <laughs> Someone who never made a lot of messes never made anything. You sure did. You want to get clean? Yes. Where's mm -hmm. my hand? Okay. Yeah, fireplace. Yep, fireplace. Now we've moved from deconstruct to construct. We're quite a bit behind schedule just because we totally underestimated how long it would take to take this down. <laughs> but I think we'll still be able to do it. And if not, we have some wonderful friends who just offered to let us <laughs> 
go get warm at their house in case we run into any problems. <laughs> oh, Banjo, that's beautiful. Did you do that all by yourself? Uh-huh. Nobody helped me to stay alive. I love it. We're all a little dirty today. <laughs> so the sun's down. We've gotten a lot of progress. We got some cookie dough. And we have therapy right there. That's our emotional therapy as we stress out worrying if we're going to get this done. Go, sweetie. Do you like them? <laughs> you are so dirty. <laughs> So we have the burn chamber built and we're getting the second layer. And then we're gonna put the cooktop on. Dun, 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 dun. The hardest working man in the house needs a cookie. Thank you. Uh, I'll just put it to you. <laughs> Oh my, you're a dirty kitty.